pictures were first discovered, no one knew anything about her or why she took photographs or anything about her childhood or, importantly, her relatives and who would inherit um, her valuable estate. So um, I set out to try to answer some of those questions. I found that um, she had a very difficult childhood and that there was a reason why she was secretive about her past um, you know, and that no one who knew her in Chicago, where she later worked, really knew anything about her. Her mother ended up being just so narcissistic um, and selfish and hypochondriac that um, she didn't take care of Vivian. Her brother ended up in being a drug addict and in psychiatric hospitals. And her father ended up being a drunk gambler and um, he became violent. So, you know, nothing was good about her childhood and she was really left, uh, you know, after 12 years old, left on her own to really raise herself. Vivian took photographs in all the, the genres. She did street photography, portrait photography, celebrity photography, photojournalism, but the commonality is probably that she was able to create photographs that had universal appeal and showed kind of the universality of the human condition. Um, and you see that in all the different branches of her work. She um, very much focused on children and older people. She wasn't that comfortable with people her own age, but she would capture them in very real and authentic moments, and that seemed to be very important to her. And she was really great at just capturing the actual emotional moments and feelings that people had that you don't usually see in photographs. For her, really, what was important was being out there and taking the photographs. And she ended up um, having a hoarding disorder. And so part of that was her photographs, and she needed to keep them for herself. They didn't have to be printed. They didn't even have to be developed. She just needed to keep um, those moments of life in her possession.